The home sale capital gains exclusion, commonly referred to as the Section 121 exclusion, plays a vital role in the tax code of many countries. This provision allows homeowners to exclude a significant portion of the capital gains realized from the sale of their primary residence from taxation. In this video, we will dive into the intricate detail of a home sale capital gain exclusion. Shedding light on shedding light on its underlying principle, eligibility criteria, limitations, and potential benefits. If you guys don't know me, or if this is your first time here, my name is Aaliyah M. Clark. I am a North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, and Georgia real estate professional. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. I really appreciate you guys for tuning in. If you guys are returning, thank you guys for all the support. Let's go ahead and start understanding the home sale capital gains exclusion. Okay, so first up that I would think that I want to talk about is the eligibility criteria to take advantage of the section 121 exclusion the homeowner must meet certain requirements firstly the property being sold must qualify as a primary residence meaning it must have been occupied by the taxpayer for at least two out of the last five years preceding the sale additionally individuals can only claim this exclusion once every two years which prevents frequent claims from short-term real estate investments. So next up, let's go ahead and calculate the exclusion. Understanding the methodology behind calculating the exclusion is crucial. Generally, the maximum amount of capital gains that can be excluded under Section 121 is $250,000 for individual taxpayer and $500,000 for joint taxpayer. So if you are single, you will pay $250,000. If you are a married couple, the exclusion is $500,000. This potential tax-free gain is based on the difference between the original purchase price adjusting for improvements and the final sales price of the residence. It is important to note that any gain exceeding these thresholds will be subject to gains tax. So, so next, let's go over the limitations and exceptions. While the home sale capital gains exclusion offers a significant tax benefit, it is, <laughs> it is essential to be aware of its limitation and exceptions to ensure compliance with tax laws. Firstly, this exclusion only applies to the sale of a primary residence, as I've mentioned before. Note investment properties or vacation homes are not included in this exclusion or this uh, is limited to primary residence. It doesn't apply to investment properties or vacation homes. Additionally, there are specific rules in place for individuals who have previously claimed depreciation deduction on their property, which might reduce the eligibility exclusion amount. Lastly, certain circumstances such as forced sale due to unforeseen events may allow taxpayers to claim a partial exclusion, even if they do not meet the full eligibility criteria. So next up, I kind of want, I want to go over the potential benefits and consideration. The section 121 exclusion provides homeowners with substantial tax advantages, encouraging homeownership and facilitating the acquisition of new homes. By excluding a significant portion of the capital gains from taxation, individuals can retain more of their hard earned money, making home ownership a more financially viable option. Moreover, the exclusion fosters stability by providing homeowners with the opportunity to accumulate wealth and invest in their future. The home sale capital gain exclusion or section 121 exclusion has proven to be a powerful tax saving tool for homeowners. By understanding this underlying principle, eligibility criteria, limitations, and potential benefits, individuals can make informed decisions regarding their home sales and optimizing their financial outcomes. While the rules and regulations may seem complex, grasping the fundamentals of this provision can provide homeowners with a clear understanding of how to navigate the intricacies of the tax code, ultimately maximizing their financial well-being. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys go ahead and like, comment, subscribe if this video was valuable. I really appreciate each and every single one of you for watching. With that being said, I'm going to catch you guys in the next video.